So thank you for the organization. E grazie a... And thank you to my Italian professor that 30 years ago made me love this language. So it's a challenge for me to speak in Italian of the museum mix experience. I work in an archaeologic museum in Arles. I will show you some pictures of it. And I would like to share with you this experience. So what is Museo Mix? Museo Mix is a creative laboratory, a workshop that uh, lasts three days and three nights because it's running even at night. And we want to create digital devices allowing visitors to have a different use of the museum. So we need to have an open museum, open in spirit, a museum believing in the openness of the networking. And networking becomes a sort of living lab during three days. And a museum must accept to become a sort of invasion in the museum. We've had 200 people that do not know, uh, did not know the museum before uh, coming there. So there are fundamental principles. First, inclusion. Inclusion means that there are no barriers at the entrance. Everybody can participate because collaboration is another fundamental element for museumics. And it's a foundation of the whole activity. Then sharing. Sharing is important, is important because we must share the sources after the exhibition. So contribution, creation, and autonomy at the same time. So three days, usually on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, but you can also go after, for example, we've had seven days. Because we wanted to know how visitors can interact with these prototypes and objects. It's not just about mathematics. It's a sort of model of how uh, museumics can work. There are five, six, uh, or ten teams, depending on, the, on a museum. And the teams have organization resources, communication, welcoming. So, for example, there are 225 people involved within these museum mix. This is just an example. You don't have to do exactly like this. And then the composition of the team is based on a multidisciplinary approach. For example, involving cultural mediation, different expertise, coding, fabrication, communication, and for each team, there's a coach that we named the facilitator, in inverted commas, if you would like to call it like this. And then we have a video. I would like to show you a video. Actually, it's in French. Yes. Ah, le luci, per favore. Le luci. Oh, scusa, non è, non è il buono. <laughs> Questo? Sì. Questo.
questo spiega come funziona. This explains how museo mix works. Questo Montréal. È una spiegazione. So this is an explanation of how museo mix is working. It's the museum of the future. Actually, you cannot see, you cannot watch this video on the internet. This video explains that there are mediation prototypes in order to make different things in your own museum. Um, scusa. Sì? Allora, l'esempio di... So the example of Arles, the city of Arles. So at the beginning we had uh, theory, now practical things. Uh, Arles is in the southern part of France, close to Marseille. It's a very old city. It's a world cultural heritage. It was a Roman city. And we organized museum, museum mix with two different museums within a single one. So we had an archaeological museum in which I work, and then there was another one, an ethnology museum, and we decided to have museum mix there. So this is the archaeology museum where I work. It's a very uh, didactic museum, but maybe mostly, I would say, traditional low-tech museum because there are no digital technologies. So it was very interesting to invite Museo Mix in such a traditional museum. There are models explaining uh, the ancient times. And for example, this is a ship. It's extraordinary. It's 30 meters long. And it was discovered in the river just next to the museum. In the museum, we have different resources for museum mix. We have a restoration uh, laboratory and other resources. We needed 10 months of preparation to develop a community. And in the afternoon, we will have a workshop. So we can have the possibility to talk about how to create a community, for example, in Poland or in this region. So fab lab, museums, universities, uh, visitors, volunteers. So uh, gathering uh, and uh, making different people meet within this project and try to organize this project. So we must convince about, uh, convince people about its protection because it is a, a unique opportunity and also find, uh, of course, fundings. On the YouTube, YouTube, we created different videos with experts explaining the challenges of the museum, of, and in particular of archaeological and ethnographic museums. And you can watch these videos, they are two minutes long, to explain a particular issue. And visitors, we spend time with the visitors in the museum to listen to them. And to understand what digital means. So what they would like to have in uh, five or 10 years in the, in the museum. So the examples are, for example, visualizing the structure of the archaeological research, so how you can see something that is not usually visible. Then the connection between internal and external part. So I can invite, for example, the archaeological site. 
For example, how can we do these things in a, in a simple way? And after the preparation, we've had the event, the museum mix event. So three, four days. First day, it's about discovering the museum. But the museum is discovered in just one hour. 30 minutes, one hour. So you can imagine how difficult it is to, to choose a special way to share the experience museum. Um. Then there are pitch, pitches on different issues of the museum and then teams. Teams are organized. Here we have eight teams in this museum. And the work is done there. Uh, they, they, they eat in the museum, they can sleep in the museum, so it's actually a very inclusive experience. On the second day, prototypes start to be made, and the museum staff can contribute and we must make these prototypes. Then on the third, third days, they, uh, prototypes are finalized. And af at the end of the third day, we have a crash test with visitors in the museum. So this is the opportunity to understand the way visitors can interact and understand these prototypes. Then, for example, we have communication during the whole three days of the event on the internet. It's real-time communication. And, for example, the museum staff was involved in the videos. So you also have staff training during the whole three days. So very interesting to change their own role to make to, to do something different. Let's now watch. Uh, sorry, we will see this. We will watch this video in the afternoon during the workshop, and then for prototypes. One is the journey through the river. What can you do when, uh, when, when the river enters the museum? This is a new experience, very interesting one. It is inclusive, and it's a suggestion from the Ethnographic Museum. Then the memory of the industrial uh, world, very interesting to have uh, let's say, to remind of, of the industrial work memory and have uh, an archaeological museum. And then interacting with, with the museum models, what, how can you understand the urban planning of the past? Very interesting. We've had eight prototypes, working on uh, four of them. We are working on four of them for the future. This is a sort of interactive video to understand what the archaeologist uh, does in the everyday activities. So hosting a museum mix experience is very interesting because you can explore new possibilities, new experiences. And it's also interesting for visitors because you can have a very interesting philosophy, including the digital area in a space that maybe is not uh, drenched in the digital space. And then there's a sort of community working before, during, and after the event. And it's also interesting for creativity because it can free, set imagination free. And it's incredible 
to have the possibility to live this experience. And then for the museum, I would invite you to read this slide. And it's a way to discover an easy organization and a new method, a new working methodology. And another important aspect is knowing the um, creative economy of the local area. We met people having an activity uh, within 100 meters, very close to the museum, and it's very interesting to work with these people. Then for participants, it's interesting to enrich their own professional network. So how much does it cost? It's, in, it's difficult to answer this question because it depends on the context and on many elements. But actually, I think that in the afternoon, we can take this question and focus on this. But I think that minimum 5,000 euro would be needed to have a museum mix. This does not mean anything, because actually it depends on the capacity of the community to work together as a network. Sorry for the mistakes I made in Italian. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you.